morning, YouTube. It's your boy Dev back again for another Meamda Monday, man. Y'all know how this goes, man. This is where we listen to new artists, man. Whether in the dirt underground, Groundhog Day City Day, motherfucking Titty Day, no not November, no matter what. All right, this is where we listen to new artists, man. This is my way of giving back. I always tell you guys, man. Your favorite artists, Kendrick Lamar, J Cole, Drake. They were once diamonds in the dirt. All right, diamonds cannot shine without light. All right, and if there is no sunshine on that motherfucking diamond and it's closed in a cellar, you'll never ever 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 know who Kendrick Lamar is was who he them no matter you will not never ever know because you need that sunlight all right everybody needs that sunlight to grow so I kind of feel like this is kind of my way of giving back man you know just kind of give it back into the community um whether it's a big artist no big artist little artist subscriber artist no matter what this is kind of where I do my little mini series whether it gets the views or not who gives a fuck this is what I'm gonna keep doing I'm gonna keep doing it to the motherfucking day that I stop doing YouTube which is probably gonna be never I be talking my shit. But, all right, man. But, um, yeah, man, it's kind of crazy, man. I've been doing this now for about a year and a half, two years. And the, the two artists I can name off my bat that I always bring up when I do the Me the Mondays, Pink Sweats, Nardo Wick now. Nardo Wick just did a song with Lyrical Lemonade. That's crazy because I didn't even know who Nardo Wick was. And I was listening to him when he had, like, the little shit. And then he did a track with Lyrical Lemonade that is literally a TikTok trend. Everybody was fu is fucking now fucking with Nardo. Insane shit, man. That's insane shit. But, man, we got a track titled Stable by the name of Benny Okoto. I don't know if you Japanese. You got the Akatsuki ass, you know, Akutsuki. You know, what, what the motherfuckers called? What's Kagio, uh, Kagio, um, Kagio's clans called? The uh, Osuskis? You know what I'm talking about. The O-T-U-S-U-K-I. I think it's my, You know what I'm talking about. Anyways, it's only a minute long. This is actually the shortest Miamda Monday track I've ever done on this channel. All right, I've never done minute longs, and that's kind of crazy. You know, minute longs, that's kind of scary because that is usually just, what, an interlude or an intro? I'm, I'm not really sure. Let me let me just, I'm going to let this shit ride before I, before I start judging you. Hold on. Fly like Pegasus, can't get ahead of us. This the start. Game sake Genesis, pain. Push to a boss by the sun of us. Lost, push to the limit. Lost, can't be timid. Cause, yeah, I'm in it. Look, cause, motherfucker hater. Florida, some gators. The bag they sent it. My high like Tebow. Boss, used to shop. Moss, now I'm smoking legal. Catch me on the purse. Eyes they gloss. We're not equal. Cause, getting head like a motherfucker coin toss. For my sins, for my skin. Might need to keep a drink just like Jaws. Turn her on, you on my off from a different cloth. Taking L's, I can't take no loss. Can't tie, fuck the law. Round the corner, if it suits from my angle. She a Q T P I E T S A T I D. A Q T P I E. I like that. Okay, that was a lot. That was a bar. E off with an eye, green a new leaf. For you leave, gold I bleed. All of these O's I see. not gonna lie bro you know i'm always honest I'm, I'm honest with everybody that do this i always give my pros and my cons i ain't gonna lie bro i'm kind of questionable on your rapping ability you know i can't rap myself i'm just saying from what i hear resonant it's kind of quite let me know let me listen to something else real quick Okay, okay, let me listen to another one. Hello? Hello? I don't like that. A new whip, new bitch, with no bra, new trips, new shit, few deaths, new flesh, no scars, no new faith, new taste, new life, no wife, okay. cause you so fraud. Okay, I got an idea. First of all, if you produce the songs, man, I got to say your production is definitely better than your lyrical ability. I'm just going to keep it real with you. Again, I'm not going to hear here to babysit you. I'm not going to hear to, you know, to, to, to hold you, to hold your hand. I'm being real with you because at the end of the day, I'm nice. All right. 
every other nigga out there going to try to be motherfucker. They going to they gonna give it to you in the real world. I always say, man, I hate the participation trophy era that we live in. All right. If you would just give you constructive criticism to a lot of people, man, there would be a lot of better people in this world. Two things you need to do. Constructive criticism. Mind your business, man. The world will go round faster. I swear to God. All right. The one thing I do got to say, though, man, is your lyrical ability, man. It just sounds like you're going for that sound. Um, low key, you're reminding me of like a Suicide Boys. Uh, um well who am i thinking about man uh shit night lavelle there we go um obviously not as grittier as night lavelle and definitely not as gritty um as as a scrim but i can see you kind of just doing the simplistic flow but i feel like you got to get a little bit more personality going into the flow man get into character get into who you are you know whether it's gonna be some grit whether it's gonna be some darkness whether it's gonna be some energy like if you if you're gonna hit it with the, if you're gonna hit it with the simple bars then hit it with like Hit it with like the Dom Kennedy. You know, he got some some West Coast swag to him. Um, look at Quentin Miller. Quentin Miller also, you know, was a very simplistic rapper that the way he does it. Uh, there's a lot of simple rappers out there. They don't have to be the most bar, uh, bar reflective or lyrical, spiritual, or you know, um, you know, even like grittiest or having person too much personality, but you still gotta have something to your voice. I feel like, you know, um, you always talk about Anamana repeat raps. Again, we're in a day and age where that is the sound that everybody loves. Look at the Playboy Cardi. But the thing about Playboy Cardi is he's gonna do it in a baby voice. All right. So my thing to you is if you wanna do it like that and you wanna have the simplistic ass, minimalistic ass flow, I'm gonna say it just like that. Yeah, straight up. Um, if you wanna do that, it definitely has shown success for a lot of rappers, you know, um recently. And, and even in the past. So I always say, man, if you're going to do that, then just add a little bit of flair to your voice. Add a little bit of flair to the music. Um, just do something that's going to be a little bit more creative. That's going to make that simplistic sound stand out. Also, I feel like, man, when you listen to um, uh, the track, man, the production is definitely, like I said, it sounds like some Night Lavelle. I will say that some Night Lavelle, kind of that dark sound. Um, you know, you, you, you mentioned some, some lines in there where I could definitely tell your, your content is still a little, it's, it's genuine. You know, um, you know, you, uh, what was that line in there? You said uh, the acute, acute pie, you know, like you just, again, you don't got to be a gangster rapper out here. All right. If that's what you really rap about type shit like that, you want to get some little funny lines in there then do that shit. Don't be scared of the type of rapper you're going to be. Um, but again, though, like from a, from a lyrical standpoint, the onomatopoeia rap, I'm always going to talk shit about it, man. You know, don't take that to personal. I'm always going to talk shit about it, but I feel like, man, you like right there, if you're going to do that minimalistic, do what I said, man. Try, not, not saying trust me, but just do what I said. That's kind of my opinion on it. But if you did produce this by yourself, I definitely feel like your production, you are a producer for sound, and then you, um, you know, you're going to rap. So kind of just like how Pierre, like I said, Pierre got to find his motherfucker, even though his motherfucking production is on point. Pierre's going to have to find his identity still because he definitely sounds like a Playboy Cardi or a Uzi at times. And He's going to have to shy away for that if he wants to be the big artist that he wants to be. At least that's what I think. So, um, yeah, man, get in the comments below, man. What you think, man, about this artist, Benny Okoto Stable? Um, that was kind of great. Like I said, I had to listen to the two other tracks, you know, just for a little snippet to see what kind of artist you was because I, I couldn't feel like that was the who you were, who you were trying to represent. But I can see that new track, Three Cell Phones. The production is definitely being a high key uh, point. Um, just the lyricism, man. The lyricism, a little questionable. I got to be, I gotta be straight up with you with that, bro. But uh, yeah, man, get in the comments below. Let me know what you think. Don't forget to follow me on social media. What you're here. 3,000 likes. We're going to find it on the wall, man. Until the next time, this is your boy Dev. Thank you for subscribing. Thank you for supporting. Until next time, man. We are out. Peace.